Hello and welcome to another Royal Society Publishing video podcast. We're here today at the University of Cambridge at the Department of Genetics speaking with Dr Tetsuya Takeda about his recent open biology paper. So Tetsuya, can you tell me about your study? Yes, uh, we are studying molecular mechanism of cell division. And in this paper, we particularly focus on the last step of cell division called cytokinesis. Cytokinesis occurs following nuclear division, and which plays an important role to separate uh, the nucleus into two daughter cells. And uh, cytokinesis plays an essential role in development and regeneration, and its failure causes severe defects in development or other diseases such as cancers. Therefore, it is important to study cytokinesis not only from a physiological point of view, but also for understanding of these pathologies. And can you tell us about the process of cytokinesis and what questions need to be answered? Yes, uh, cytokinesis starts with the formation of a ring-like structures called the contractile ring around the cell equator. The contract ring is made with actin and myosin similar to muscles and the constriction of the contract ring uh, pulls the plasma membrane inward using the similar mechanism as muscle contraction. So cytokinesis, the, the main driving force for cytokinesis is a contraction force of this contract ring. However, recent studies also start showing that membrane is not a passive object, but rather plays an active role in cytokinesis. Furthermore, it is still a mystery how the contract, contractor ring is attached to the plasma membrane to transmit its contra contraction force to pull the plasma membrane. So, um, therefore, it's uh, the functional ring between the contractor ring and the plasma membrane remain to be free described. Can you tell us about the F-bar protein that you focused on in your paper? Yes, uh, when I was in Professor Fred Chan's lab at Columbia University in New York, um, I found that fission yeast F-bar protein called CDC15 plays an essential role in cytokinesis, controlling membrane dynamics and contractor ring dynamics. So F-bar protein, uh, CDC15 contains a lipid binding F-bar domains and also which facilitates membrane curvature. It also binds to the contractor ring so it could be a good molecular ring between the contract ring and the plasma membrane. F-bar proteins are very well conserved and it's also present in animal cells. However, its function in animal cells, animal cytokinesis has never been studied. So fortunately, I had a chance to, to join Professor David Glover's group in University of Cambridge, funded by Cancer Research UK. And I continue to study the, the function of F-bar proteins in cytokinesis using uh, an excellent model organism for cell, cell division research, Drosophila melanogaster. And what were the major findings of your paper? So in this paper, we showed for the first time that uh, Drosophila F-bar protein syndapping is important for animal cytokinesis. Syndapping, um, strongly localized to the cleavage furrow during cytokinesis and in cultured cells or mutant flies with reduced amount of syndapping shows a higher frequency of cells with multiple nuclei which is caused by cytokinesis defect. So live cell imaging of uh, primary spermatocytes from uh, mut syndapping mutant flies showed that this cytokinesis defect is caused by abnormal membrane dynamics during cytokinesis. Um, so suggesting that syndapine has a role in controlling membrane behavior during cytokinesis. And so what's the molecular mechanism of syndapine function during cytokinesis? So syndapine contains a rapid binding uh, F-bar domain in, in its end terminus and another protein interaction module called SS3 domain in its S, uh, in its C terminus. So um, the localization study of various mutant forms of syndapine showed that the interaction between F-bar domain 
and the membrane is important for localization of function of syndapin during cytokinesis. We also addressed if syndapin can bind to the contact ring components. And indeed, uh, we identified one of the component called anilin, one of the contract ring component anilin, is directly binding to the SVS3 domain of syndapin. So therefore, syndapin functions as the inf interface between membrane and the contract ring by physically coupling these, uh, their functions during cytokinesis. So cytokinesis needs to be spatially and temporally regulated during the cell cycle. Is it the same true for syndapin? Yes, it is the case. And so I, I've already mentioned that FR domain is, little bit binding FR domain is uh, important for syndapin localization of function during cytokinesis. But it, we also found that FR domain is not sufficient in itself, but further downstream and characterized regions are re also required for its localization to the, to the cleavage furrow. So in short, these uncharacterized regions are heavily phosphorylated, and this phosphorylation inhibits syndapin's localization to the cleavage furrow. So we hypothesize that the phosphorylation state of syndapin affects its membrane binding affinity. So to address this hypothesis, uh, we start collaboration with Dr. Harvey McMahon at MRCRMB, with whom I'm working now. So it must have been quite a change moving from the Department of Genetics to this brand new MRC Laboratory of Molecular Biology. So it gave me a very interesting opportunity to see the different aspects of the scientific culture in Cambridge by moving from 100 years old building of the University of Cambridge to the brand new and newly opened r and building. So you briefly mentioned your hypothesis earlier. How have you shown that the phosphorylation of syndapin affects its membrane association? Yes, uh, in the lab of LMB, um, we uh, developed an assay system using purified syndapin and artificial lipid vesicles to um, confirm our hypothesis. So um, in our assay, when we used wild type or non-phosphorated form of syndapin, um, the, the membrane is uh, changing their shape from globular, globular structures to tubules. On the other hand, when we use phosphorylated form of syndapin in this assay, they showed much weaker membrane binding affinity and didn't show any uh, membrane tuberation. So meaning that in our um, current understanding, we think that syndapin has a function in controlling membrane dynamics during cytokinesis and its uh, function is regulated by phosphorylation by altering the, its membrane binding affinity and membrane curvature formation. Uh, we still don't know what kind of kinases or phosphatases are involved in this regulation, but it is going to be a very interesting question to be asked in the future. So you'll be starting a new job as an assistant professor in Japan next year. What does the future hold? Yes, um, so first of all, I'm away from my country such a long time, four years in New York and eight years in Cambridge. So first, uh, I have to readjust myself to Japanese life. Scientifically, there are lots of uh, challenges ahead. FR proteins are subclass of a uh, superfamily called bar superfamily. Bar superfamily proteins are involved in diverse processes such as cell, uh, cell motility, cell division or cell adhesion or endocytosis, basically all the, uh, all the uh, processes where membranes and cytoskeleton are interacting each other. Importantly, some of the superfamily proteins are tightly linked to human diseases. So I'm continue to, to work on this diverse function of bar superfamily proteins and hopefully in a long term, my study can contribute to understanding of some of those diseases. Um, while I'm away from my country, I could make a good network in US and Europe. So I hope, I hope to continue my collaboration work with my colleagues and to have fun to work out how these proteins are working in, in the cells.
Thank you very much and thank you for watching this Royal Society Publishing video podcast.